Hi, my name is Nicole Lang and I'm the iGlide Product Manager here at iGUS Incorporated. Some of you may know that we have over 50 materials in our dry tech catalog. In addition to that, we have hundreds and hundreds of research materials behind the scenes that are continuously developed. So it can seem a bit overwhelming when you're trying to choose the right material for your application. Today, we're going to talk about our main five materials. These main five materials are suitable for use in over 80% of applications. All iGlide materials are self-lubricating and maintenance-free. They're corrosion resistant and rigorously tested in our dry tech test lab. Let's start with our G300. Our G300 bearings are our most universal. They're suitable for use in applications with medium to high loads and low to moderate speeds. They're very dirt and dust resistant and they're used with applications where maybe shock or impact or even edge pressures might be present. Our G300 bearings have a compressive strength of 11,300 PSI, a max static surface pressure of 11,600 PSI, a PV value of 12,000, that's PSI times feet per minute, and for temperature, the temperature range is negative 40 to 266 degrees Fahrenheit. As you might have guessed, our G300 is used in applications such as agriculture or construction, machine tools, medical equipment, trucks, trailers, and really anything else that you can imagine. Next up, we have our M250. Our M250 is our most elastic bearing material, meaning it's really flexible, very vibration dampening, and suitable for use in applications with shock, impact, or edge loading, like our G300 material. Our M250 is excellent with dirt and dust, and we do have thicker walled options available as well. Its compressive strength is 7,500 PSI, the max static surface pressure is 2,900 PSI. The PV value is 3,400, again, PSI times feet per minute. And the temperature range for this is a little bit on the lower end for our materials at negative 40 to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. The M250 will swell with moisture absorption, so take care if you have an application with high moisture content. In some applications, however, this might be okay because if you have poor tolerances in your housing or shaft, then any type of moisture absorption will help reduce the amount of play between the bearing and the shaft, which could be ideal. Some of the most commonly used applications with our M250 include grounds maintenance, as well as machine tools, fitness equipment, and our clip bearings are used commonly in automotive seating applications. Next up, let's talk about our endurance runner category. As you might imagine, these materials are suitable for use in applications where there is a lot of motion or where the bearings have to have high wear resistance. The two materials in our main five that fall under this category include our iGlide W300, which is formerly known as our L280, and our iGlide J. Let's start with our W300. Our W300 offers extremely high wear resistance. It has a low coefficient of friction, and although it's elastic, it's still suitable for applications where high compressive strength is required. It's great in harsh environments with rougher shafts, and great with edge pressures. It can be used on virtually all shaft materials. The L280 will swell with any type of moisture absorption, so please take care. The compressive strength is 8,800 PSI. The static surface pressure, or max static surface pressure, is 8,700 PSI. And the PV value is 6,600. Again, that's PSI times feet per minute. The temperature range for our L280, or W300, is minus 40 degrees up to 194. Our L280 is used quite frequently in applications such as anything with automation or robotics, as well as test equipment, printing, vending machines, just to name a few. Moving on, let's talk about our iGlide J. Our iGlide J offers extremely high wear resistance as well. It's suitable for use on a variety of shafts, especially softer shafts. It has a low coefficient of friction, low moisture absorption, it is chemically resistant, and it's excellent in applications that are linear with hard anodized aluminum. This is why we use our iGlide J as the primary material in our dry limb linear bearings. In addition to that, because our PRT sewing rings offer hard anodized aluminum surfaces, we've also found that iGlide J as a liner offers the optimized bearing material for these types of applications as well. Compressive strength for iGlide J is 8,700 PSI. The max static surface pressure is 5,070. The max PV value is 9,700, again, PSI times feet per minute. 
and the temperature range is negative 58 up to 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Applications where J can often be found include automation and robotics, beverage filling and packaging equipment, marine equipment, medical and or lab equipment, as well as aircraft interiors. Next up in our main five, we have our iGlide X, formerly known as T500. What sets iGlide X aside is that it's extremely chemical and temperature resistant. In addition, it offers low moisture absorption. It is great in linear applications on stainless steel, which is why it's the chosen bearing material for our dryland linear bearings when any type of temperature or chemicals might be present. In addition to that, it offers a high load capacity. It can be quite rigid, so please take care in any type of application with shock or impact loads. The max compressive strength value for iGlide X is 14,500 PSI. The max static surface pressure is 21,750 PSI. The PV value is 37,700, again PSI times feet per minute. And the temperature range goes from minus 148 Fahrenheit up to 482 degrees Fahrenheit. In short-term applications, the iGlide X can withstand temperatures of up to 599 degrees. It's commonly used in areas such as beverage filling or packaging machinery, as well as baking, clean room applications, applications where vacuum might be present, as well as aircraft interiors. All of this information is available to you in our catalog or on our website. Click on the links below to gain access. If you'd like to contact a member of the iGlide team to discuss your application further, please use the contact information in the description. Be on the lookout for the next IGAS Classroom video and hope to see you soon.